What's good, family? It's your boy, MI4K20, back on We Talk Hawks. And now let's talk some Hawks real quick. I want to go over to um, talk about the buyout market uh, real quick. Um, you know, right now we're struggling as a team. You know, we're below 500 right now. And, um, you know, people was asking about trades. So, obviously, the trade deadline came and went. We didn't make no moves. Not saying nothing was out there available on the table, but obviously our GM didn't see a deal that he liked. So, you know, we moved on to the buyout market. And, you know, you had a couple players get bought out that could have helped the Hawks. But at the end of the day, you know, there was a couple of players like Attrition Thompson that could have helped us as far as um, a backup big and helping us on the boards. You had um, and some other fringe players. No, no game changers, but there was definitely some players that could have helped us. At Goran Dragic, but let's make something clear, family. Let's get something clear here. You know, when you're a below 500 team, you're not going to get the best of those buyout players, if any. Because those buyout players, they're either veterans, right, that's ring chasing, looking for opportunity to compete for a championship, or they're young players uh, who have not been proven and looking for playing time and an opportunity to, you know, prove themselves and get some good stuff on tape so they can plan their next move. So when it comes to the Hawks, I've seen people complaining why we not get nobody. Listen, in the buyout market, guys, it comes down to where the player wants to go because the player gets his contract bought out and then he gets to go where he wants to go because, and he can go to just about any team because he can play for the minimum because he's already got his money for the year from the team that bought him out. So, you know, when you look at the Atlanta Hawks, do we need help? Yes. Especially on the defensive side of the ball. Um, but uh, are we, uh, an attractable destination at this time. No, when you look at the record, you know we're under we're two games under five hundred. Um, you look at other teams. I mean, why would uh, uh um Goran Dragic, who's in his thirties, why would he want to come to a fringe playoff team when he can have his choice between all those teams as guaranteed to make the playoffs, and you know some of those teams. Uh, he can go to those teams that's, you know, in the position to compete for a championship. You know, same thing for Tristan Thompson. I think Tristan Thompson ended up going to the Bulls. And my homeboy was like, why you go to the Bulls and not us? I'm like, look at our record. Look at the Bulls record. Who would you go to? Bulls, what, 12, 15 games over 500. The Hawks, two, three games under 500. Seems like to me it's an easy decision. I'm going to where I can win. And you know they're going to give them some playing time anyway. You know, and even if they didn't, you know, he on a bench for what? A couple million dollars, if that. If that. So, you know, right. That's why it's important, you know, for your team to be in a winning position, to be a winning organization, a winning ball club. You are an attractive destination. It's more than just Trey Young. You can have a Trey Young, as you see, we have Trey Young. But people are not coming here because we're not winning. And when I say we're not winning, I mean you take away that Eastern Conference final run. We've been below five hundred since, you know, Trey Young's been here. As an organization, we're below five hundred. So, um, you know, it is what it is now. You know, as our young players continue to develop, you know, and, you know, we add a couple savvy veterans who can actually, you know, play and not have to take two and three games off at a time, you know, you know, we can keep developing that winning mentality. And then who knows, maybe by next All-Star break, by um, next uh, year, when it's uh, buyout market time, you know, we, we are appealing two teams so and that's what i'm saying guys you know you know people it's like you know should we make the playoffs shouldn't we make the playoffs you if we don't make the playoffs don't expect any free agent to put us high on a list okay 
Don't even expect it if we do not make the playoffs because uh, free agents don't want to go to teams that's not making the playoffs unless you what? Unless you overpay for the said player. You know, when you're a losing organization like we are at the moment, you have to overpay for players. So, but, you know, if we make the playoffs, you know, you always got that. You can always sell the story that, hey, man, you know, you're the missing piece. Woo, woo, woo. You can't be the missing piece for a team that's not even in the playoffs. You know what I'm saying? So, so you know, so it's like, you know, you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. But, you know, we brought this on ourselves as an organization, you know. But that's going to be a whole nother video. But I just wanted to speak on this buyout market right now. And, you know, no decent. I think the best buyout candidate that was available was Trishan Thompson. So. Bulls, Hawks, who would you go to as a as a veteran in the league, you know, eight, 10 years in the league? Who are you going to? You know who you're going to. You going to the winning organization who is winning now. You know, as a oh, as a veteran, as an older player, you're not looking. You're not going to a team who's talking about, hey, we're trying to win next year. No, you're going to a team that's trying to win now. So that's why we were not able to um, pick up anybody in the bio market. It's that simple. That simple. But it's your boy in my 4K20. You know, out, out here on We Talk Hawks TV. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe to the channel. We got a game tonight. What's today? Thursday. We play tonight. And guess who we play? The Bulls. So hopefully we can get this dub. Um, Make sure y'all tap in with us tonight for our post game live that we do after every game. Tap in. It's going to be me. It's going to be analysts. It's going to be other guests, who other fans who want to tap in. Because remember, this is a channel for the fans by the fans. You feel me? It's your boy in my 4K20, and I'm out. Peace.